ANC has destroyed the UIF. My name is President Mpodagada, the president of Arise South Africa. And we are running for the national and provincial elections in 2024 for Arise South Africa. Now, ladies and gentlemen, leaders of our great nation, it becomes important for us to start telling the truth, even if we risk our lives. When I started to shed light on the current status of our government, a lot of people said to me, you are risking your life, they will kill you, they will destroy you. I've done everything in my power to ensure that I tell the truth and let the truth be known. Because I believe that if we know the truth, only then will the minds of our people be set free from the lies that they've been told by many of these political parties. The ANC has stolen funds from the UIF. Let's start here, the UIF. If you haven't watched my video on what the UIF is, kindly click the link in this video and you'll be able to watch the video on part one of exactly what the UIF is and what it does. The ANC owes SARS and the UIF about 80 million. They don't even pay the UIF. Now, I want you to know this. The ANC receives an allocation of about 300 million from National Treasury every single year that political parties get to share. So the ANC does get money from National Treasury. From the money they get, they don't even pay SARS and the UIF. Yet they expect citizens of the nation to be paying tax and to be paying the UIF. Yet they themselves don't even pay. They have the nerve to go there and continue to steal money when they themselves don't even pay. What happened is, the UIF has a responsibility to invest the money that it receives in order to grow it. And what we saw, we saw an ANC politician get involved and instruct people to move money from the PIC and the UIF to for an investment deal. In this deal, he decides to pocket about 47 million from the deal. They plan an advisory to say, we're going to advise this deal for it to happen. So there's an advisory fee of 47 million. The moment that advisory fee is paid of 47 million, 6 million goes out and it goes and pays for a house in Santon for an ANC politician. We are told that that was an advisory deal. But when you look at the trail of the money, you see exactly where that money went to. You look at the deal and what the deal is all about. The deal is all about businesses that don't make sense and the returns that don't make sense. Essentially, this is theft from the UIF. And we see this behavior continue. And the truth is, we won't be able to stop it unless we get involved in the political landscape. It becomes important that we know and we share the truth. It's taken me a while to be able to reveal these truths because I fear for my life because of the people that are involved in these business deals. I want to implore you to say, go and read on how the ANC stole from the UIF. Read it for yourself. There are articles that are out there that have been re released by reputable journalists. Go and find out. Because many of the times when we share these scary truths, people think we're gossiping. People think we're sharing rumors. When in actual fact, we're informing South Africans that the reason why we have unemployment, the reason why we have dysfunctional government, the reason why our municipalities are not able to actually give the services they're supposed to render is because funds get stolen day in and day out in this government. And the truth is, we are tired. We've reached the point where we are so tired. Cases upon cases, I've done unlimited videos where I reveal the corruption going on in our nation. I'm literally tired. And it becomes important that we begin to take action. That we don't just watch videos. We begin to group ourselves in the regions you are in, in the towns you are in, in the cities you are in. Begin to group yourself and say, it only takes one day 10 minutes of us going to the ballot box and ticking on our eyes, South Africa, giving the country a new leadership, a competent leadership, a leadership that won't steal from its people, 
a leadership that will lead the country to prosperity and success. All it takes is one day, one day for you to change the rest of your life. Many times the conversation is always, I won't vote. When you don't vote, you are essentially voting for the UIF to be looted again and again. How long will we come out here and discuss these corrupt in instances that continue to happen in our nation? How long will we come out and mention the figures, the billions, the trillions that are looted by government? It becomes important that we take action. Ensure you're registered to vote. Ensure that come 2024, we root out this wicked government and ensure that a righteous government is set up and put in place. Arise, South Africa, arise.